Hey guys, Cam here from today's iPhone.com giving you a quick look, a first look actually, I've not even seen it, you can see the little new label on my YouTube app there. I'm just going to open it up now. Obviously with iOS 6 that's coming in, um, you'll find that there's no default YouTube app as there always has been on iPhone. Apple and Google have ended their agreement so it's enabled Google to release an app in the App Store, one that you can download, will get updated whenever they've got updates. You don't have to wait for a software update like you would normally have to. So all in all it's a good move for everybody. I think Google are going to obviously spend more time designing it than what Apple would have bothered with because it's their baby, it's their, it's their program. So I'm just going to have a quick look at and see what it's like. So this is your home page. You can see a lot of the popular videos if you haven't logged in. You'll see a lot of those on there. Um, whatever they happen to be, music videos, etc. Now, if you swipe and sign in, you can find um, things like your subscriptions, channels, etc. Now, if you look down all down the left-hand side, you can, you can actually browse into different categories. So if we go into sports... You'll get all the popular sports videos, which obviously closing ceremony of the Paralympics, um, goalkeeper scoring an overhead kick. Um, so if you just want to load up a video, you'll see it's got this new kind of layout. And if we switch it over, it goes into full screen mode, widescreen. And we can see a goalkeeper scoring an overhead kick. I hope, well, at least that's what the title says. There we go. <laughs> and everybody goes crazy. Um, you can like it, you can dislike it, you can share it. So obviously you can flag it, add to playlist, add to watch later, share. Um, all sorts of things. Comments, you can add which is fantastic. I don't think you could do it with the native app that was there before. You can actually just add a comment in here once you've logged in. Um, obviously this is going to ask me to log in now. so. I'm going to show you my details on that. But there's a full screen icon, you can scroll through to different points in time, you can search. It's just such a well made app. It's really easy, really smooth. Um, obviously I've never used it until just now. Um, but so far, I'm impressed. Uh, but that's it. I mean, this isn't a long video. Go ahead and download it. I'll put the App Store link below. Um, and you can have a look directly there um, but it's free obviously it's a YouTube app so it's not going to cost you anything the only thing that you will find with this I guess the only real negative point is then obviously with it being Google there's going to be advertisements on there that Apple didn't allow with their version but I'm willing to sacrifice that for having a much nicer looking app it's smoother, it's more fluid um, it just performs so much better and it looks much nicer as well. So I've been Cam, ask me anything. Um, obviously the iPhone 5 launch is coming tomorrow. So if you want to ask me anything about that, um, feel free. I'm at TIP underscore Cam. We're going to be covering it live. We'll put um, something up on our site so that you know where and when. So be sure to check out today's iPhone.com. I've been Cam once again and I'll see you again soon.